Hey, Dr. O here, and welcome to this video on enzymes. So what is an enzyme? Well, an enzyme is a protein molecule, and its job is to act like a biological catalyst. And you might say, what is a catalyst? Well, a catalyst is a molecule or a substance that can get involved in a chemical reaction but doesn't participate directly in that reaction, which means it doesn't get used up. It doesn't become part of the product. So let's have a look at that. So let's say that we had a couple of small molecules and we wanted to put them together and we wanted to create a larger molecule. Well, in the body, most of these reactions occur too slowly in order to sustain life. And the biological catalyst can come along and speed that up. So let's have a look at that. So here's our same reaction, but now we're going to add an enzyme. And this enzyme is going to speed the reaction along. In fact, it can speed it up to a million times faster than it would happen on itself. And once the reaction is done, our enzyme is going to leave and go find another reaction to speed up. So what kind of reactions can an enzyme be involved with? Well, one of them is the enzymatic degradation reaction. So who are the players here? Well, we're going to have a molecule that we call a substrate, and then we're going to have our enzyme. And if we look at what we have here, we have a molecule that has a real specific shape to it, which is fortunate because we have an enzyme that also has a real specific shape to it. This is the nature of the substrate enzyme relationship. Uh, the enzyme is going to have a real specific active site shape and it's seeking out molecules that will fit there. So when the substrate and the enzyme come together, they form the substrate enzyme complex. And as long as that molecule, that substrate, is sitting in the active site of the enzyme, the enzyme is doing some work on it. Now, what's the enzyme doing? Well, in this case, because it's a degradation reaction, the enzyme is looking at this union that's holding this, this substance on the left to the substance on the right, and it's breaking it down. And what we're going to end up with our product is smaller molecules. So in the enzymatic degradation reaction, we're taking a large molecule, and we're breaking it down into smaller molecules. This is the basis of catabolic reactions associated with metabolism. So digestion is the perfect example of this. We uh, order a burger and we take that burger and we bite off a piece and then we chew it up and swallow it and then all of the, the, uh, the enzymes in our digestive tract are breaking these substances down into smaller smaller particles until those smaller particles can enter the bloodstream and then the cells get to utilize them. Another example of an enzymatic degradation reaction is when the cells take glucose in the presence of oxygen and break it down and turn it into cellular energy or that cellular uh, energy molecule ATP. So uh, the act of taking the glucose in the presence of oxygen and breaking it down is also um, a degradation reaction. Now the other type of reaction an enzyme can be involved with is the enzymatic synthesis reaction. Now in this scenario we're going to have two substrates, let's say, that are going to work on an enzyme out. And if we look at this enzyme we can see that this has a very specific shape that's different from the previous enzyme. And again that is the nature of enzymes. They have a, an active site with a specific shape seeking out particular molecules to, to speed along in their reaction. So in this case we're going to take a couple of substrates and these substrates are going to join with the enzyme creating the substrate enzyme complex. And in this case instead of breaking down the union that's holding these two substances together it's going to create one because there wasn't one previously. So right here we see our enzyme knitting a, a union between our two small molecules. And as a result, we're going to end up with a large molecule for our product. So as the name synthesis implies, we start off with smaller subunits, smaller molecules, and we end up with something larger. The enzymatic synthesis reaction is the basis of anabolic reactions that we would associate with, with metabolism. So for example, this would be where the body would take amino acids, which are relatively small molecules, and starting to put them together to form the very large molecule known as protein. Um, it's also where the body would take uh, small fatty acid chains and assemble them together into the triglyceride, which is a very large molecule. And with that, we are done with our chat about enzymes. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.